So today I'm going to be looking at some of the possible signs and symptoms of trauma in infants and toddlers. Because babies can't tell us what's going on for them, it's not like with an older child or an adult where they may say, look, I'm having flashbacks or I'm having intrusive thoughts following this experience that I had. Um, with babies, we have to look for this in their behavior. So we have to start deciphering what's going on for them, looking for those non-verbal signs. Now, it's important to first have your baby checked out by a pediatrician um, because some of the signs and symptoms I'm going to discuss now could be other medical issues, they could have other explanations. So it's good to always check that first before assuming that it's trauma. But if you can't find a medical explanation and your child is experiencing some or particularly if there's multiple of these signs, then that may be an indication that there is some trauma response. So one of the big ones is withholding poo, so they're not going to the toilet. In fact, any changes in toileting habits um, and any regression can also show trauma. So when uh, young children become stressed, they often regress or they have delays in achieving their usual milestones. Now keep in mind milestones, you know, there's a broad range of um, normal when it comes to meeting milestones. So if a child's not meeting their milestones exactly when others are, don't jump to the conclusion that that's trauma, um, but just keep it in mind together with other signs and symptoms. Uh, withdrawal could be a sign and also excessive clinginess or extreme separation anxiety. And again, keep in mind what's developmentally appropriate because there are times where children go through separation anxiety and that's a perfectly normal part of their growing up. Um, but again, if you're seeing this along with a lot of these other signs and symptoms, that could be a sign of trauma. Um, any sleeping or feeding issues um, when young children are stressed that often affects uh, their sleeping and eating habits. Um, excessive crying and also not crying at all. If your child has that kind of frozen watchfulness and they're not crying, they're not responding in ways that they would have before or that you would expect would be normal in a situation like that. Um, particularly if they stop playing, so play, smiling, laughing, engaging, if they stop making eye contact, these are all signs that they could be experiencing stress. Um, so any yeah, difficulty soothing, any problems um, with your child, managing to regulate their emotions with you. So young children and babies and even older children, um, we, we regulate, we co-regulate, we regulate with other people. Um, but if you're doing your normal things that you would to soothe your baby and they're not being soothed and that crying or that fussiness is um, being extended, then that could be a sign of trauma. So these are just some of the things to look out for. What we're really looking for again is a change. There was some behavior, there was an experience and then the behavior has changed unless it is birth or trauma in the early um, few weeks of life. So if you have any concerns, check with your pediatrician and then consider trauma and um, give me a call and we can always run through it together and try to decipher what's going on.